These are accessories that I use with the View 6 Blade Smart Glasses. Um, one of them I'll pull out. It is a magnetic uh, charging cable. It actually connects to magnetic bit such as this as you see this is a USB-C type but there is a USB type A and so I actually leave one in the glasses in order to be able to charge so I'll put in a, a USB type uh, or micro USB and you can get these uh, charging cables in different uh, configurations like here it's more of an oval shape I have a cord at home for this so I'll just stick this in here like this and then I can magnetically charge the device um, and it just kind of decreases the wear and tear on the actual um, U the micro USB port which isn't quite as robust as like a USB-C um, the downfall to using one of these magnetic charging uh, cables is when you go to use the collar battery, which is another accessory that fits around your uh, your neck, um, you you can't use the magnetic and this, so that can become cumbersome if you're trying to rotate back and forth, which I do sometimes. So, as I said, the first um, accessory that I use, and I use this predominantly, or I use this most of the time, the, the uh, magnetic charging uh, connector so that I can actually, um, you know, take the glasses off and on easily, but also keep them charged throughout the day because you can get a cord like this, which is fairly um, flexible, and uh, plug it into... A USB battery bank such as this and you can actually get um, excellent um, longevity like I, I can use a battery like this and basically get through the whole day um, with um, a battery like this like say in my in a shirt pocket or if you have a longer cord you can put it in your pocket and just kind of run the cord down um, whether it be under your shirt or if you want it out of your shirt you could however it gets snagged on things if you do that um, the other benefit is you can actually wear the glasses without charging them and then when you see that they're getting low then you can just pull out this magnetic connector and it'll attach and just start to charge um, so I find that super useful as I said I think it kind of adds to the longevity of the, um, the the USB port there and it also just kind of provides a little bit of flexibility um, this battery it came with my 1.5 version um, uh, small batteries like this are excellent because they're easier to carry so that you can keep your V6 blade charged up um, over the course of a day. I've uh, worn my glasses on, on at work multiple times and um, I don't have any problems with uh, my battery dying. Now, when I minimally use um, the device, like if I'm not watching video or trying to do anything extravagant, I was able to get through my full eight hour shift at work just receiving incoming messages and just kind of like, um, you know, like swiping them away, but not actually um, doing any kind of the um, heavier duty or functions that the glasses are capable of like I didn't record any video obviously and I also did not watch any video um, during that course of that ship I just wanted to see um, with simple notifications if this device could stand up over the course of the day and it did but so that you don't have battery anxiety this uh, magnetic charging uh, adapter is great because you can uh, charge when you want to it's more convenient um, you don't have an issue where if you do have the micro USB in there and something you know the cord gets snagged that it actually tries to rip the glasses off your face or actually um, damage the port um, my next 
accessory that I want to talk about is the mag the battery uh, bank the collar battery so this actually will get you through the whole day as well um, it's very convenient as long as you're upright or whatever there's a um, battery indicator here and then um, you also just hit this button to activate it so once the device is fully charged this will stop charging the device so if you look up and see your battery starting to go down it's because this does not charge continuously it only charges while the device needs to be charged so if you're running something heavy like video or you're actually recording then your battery will actually continue to charge the device however for safety reasons and you know uh, it, the battery will shut down when you don't need it this collar battery comes with another feature as you see here you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so that you can actually add um, wired headphones to this particular setup um, now this is version 1.5 so it does not have integrated audio which makes this basically kind of nice or it makes it nice if you're a person that prefers wired headsets over um, wireless so that is another feature so that's um, the second item that I use with my blade um, third is I bought this I don't use it that often but I have used it when you're out in bright sun you're not going to be able to see your image very well uh, it's kind of difficult so they've come up with this sunglass clip that fits over the glasses um, I wouldn't say it's the most elegant solution but it does do the job it gives you the ability to be able to see um, whatever is on your waveguide um, lens while you're um, outside in the sun so and it also you know provides a little bit of uh, sunglass protection um, the view six blade glasses are slightly tinted they're not perfectly clear so if you're a person that has issues with low light vision the view six blade can you know offer a challenge like that but um for sunny occasions these uh sunglass this sunglass accessory is um definitely it's, it's pretty much needed if you're going to be out in bright sun like right now today if i'm to actually pull up my menu i can i can i can see it right now but i can't see it as clearly like right now i can see the viewer um of what i'm recording and then also i can see at the bottom more clearly because of, um, whenever you're out in bright sun there actually is a white backdrop and when you're at night um, when it goes into night mode everything's just kind of has has a green outline and there's no white backdrop so um, i have it turned up to full 10 brightness so i'm able to see a little bit but as i said the image where the um the uh what the, the the viewer that i'm seeing for what is being recorded on the glasses right now i can't really make out much detail i can see basic shapes and structures but i can't it's not like a full-fledged picture now if i take my hand and put it in front and allow this this glove to be like my um kind of like a, a projector screen uh backdrop then i'm able to see uh pretty clearly in this aspect but from here it is a little bit challenging and that's why um, you would use something like the sunglass uh, clip to uh, basically emulate so like yeah with the sunglass clip I can perfectly see in this sun now when I look directly up towards the sun it fades away but you know just looking straight ahead I'm able to see uh, what I need to see now this sunglass clip um, I've toyed around with it. It works perfectly fine on 1.1.0, and it works fine on 1.5 if you do not use the glasses insert. If you use the glasses insert, it actually causes a little bit of a problem. I'm just gonna see if I can put it on there right now again, just to try it. Let's see if I'm mistaken, but I don't believe I am. I think the configuration yeah so basically um let me just see this here i could be wrong let me just see here yeah no this is not working it's 
So there's a little clasp, if you can see here, and I'm trying to fix that on top, but it, you know, it, it just pops right off. So yeah, it's not really compatible if you have the glasses insert. All right, next, um, you have a pair of wireless buds. These are some cheap, like, iPhone-y type knockoffs from Amazon. And I got these because of the way that they fit in the ear. They're like uh, Apple iPods in the sense that I can still hear my surroundings a lot better than, like, closed ear um, buds. So um, I can actually have my V6 Blade on and be in an area where I need to talk with other people. I can listen to whatever I want to listen to on the blade or through my phone, but I can also still have communication with the people around me. So um, this is a good solution. I, I choose this solution over the the um, buds that came with 1.0 because those actually had the closed ear designed with the uh, rubber grommets to go in your ear which makes it very difficult to be able to hear um, what um, what people around you are saying so that's more for like if you want some kind of a isolated experience where you don't have to worry about interacting with other people now this right here I find to be a very good option for the V6 uh, blade, it's an expensive option because it's about probably $200 or so um, in price. Um, I think I dropped that yesterday and got something on it. But anyways, um, <clears throat> these are the um, Microsoft um, Microsoft Surface or Surface Buds. And the benefit to these are they actually have um, touch capacity controls on each side. So you can actually swipe through video or, you know, swipe up and down volume with this particular thing. So it adds an added layer of functionality. Um, obviously, you can actually swipe up and down on the glasses as well to get uh, your audio to go up and down and swipe on the touchpad. So you don't need this, but I found that um, if you want an alternative to something like this, because I've tried other brands of um, earbuds, and you know, obviously, if you have these glasses on your face um, for a span of time, um, and you want to be able to maybe have some private listening, because think about it: if you're standing next to somebody and you're listening, and it has integrated speakers, they can potentially hear what it, whatever it is that you're, uh, whatever information that you're consuming. So, if you want to have a more private viewing. Uh, or, or session with whatever it is that you're viewing, then um, you would want to use wireless buds. And if you have to be um, available to those that are around you, then you want to use wireless buds that actually offer excellent pass-through. I did try the Sony uh, earbuds with these with this device. It didn't work very well because the Sony actually have um, a an app and that app is not supported on these um, glasses. That's the one thing I like about this Microsoft pair is that the software inside of these uh, glasses seem to be independent of the actual app that goes on your iPhone or, or Android phone in the sense that it knows when you swipe up and down those volume controls directly transfer to the View 6 device so the, it makes the controls useful versus if you bought something like the Sony um, they, they had some noise cancellation earbuds that were out a while ago if you buy those um, I wasn't able to use the noise cancellation function. I wasn't able to really control any of the features with the View 6. It was simply just basic buds, and for whatever reason, I wasn't even able to really get the audio to work per perfectly. It was, you know, super low, so I took those back. All right, next, what I have are two items that work in conjunction one to another, and that would be... Oh, I just got a message. Um, that would be the, uh, this is the Microsoft keyboard. I had another brand of keyboard um, that actually broke on me. One of those like jelly comb uh, Amazon special type ones. And it worked very well as well. Um, but I like this keyboard because it's, you know, it's nice and kind of big, but it folds compact. I like that feature. Um, 
and it also gives you the ability to attach three different devices so I can actually have um, this attached to my V6 blade I can have it attached to my phone and then whatever other device that I choose to utilize it with or, or as far as it, it, it connects to all the systems app um, Microsoft Android and iPhone but then you have two different settings so I can have it connected directly to two devices at once and just toggle back and forth between those two and then lastly I have this uh, well going back over this keyboard so I'm looking at it and the one thing okay never mind I see it there so yeah you do have to kind of figure out how to use the controls here because as you see you have these extra buttons there's your at button there and um, you know you have to use the function alt or whatever to get those to actuate but um, overall so it's a good keyboard um, to use with the view six blade and it really turns that in conjunction with this uh, surface mouse which um, it's the arc mouse that folds up this gives you the ability obviously you have the touch screen top to be able to swipe back and forth through menus and then also the mouse functionality this is a really nice setup just having this right here my glasses and a um, some type of battery bank it's almost like having a little full computer um, because he's you know you have a monitor no one else can see it but you uh, and it, you know you can you know do whatever you need to do obviously it is a tiny monitor however to give you a, a comparison contrast right so maybe you'll understand this in the video maybe not but what the so the picture that I'm seeing and I'm tapping it here and I'm measuring as you can see that iron rail there right the image the way that it looks like if I put my hand up here it only looks like it's maybe like say um, maybe a couple inches or so wide if that you know it's it's pretty small but when I move my hand down the optical illusion of it with there being space between me and the iron gate I'm gonna get up and point you know so you see this tree to the right just kind of keep that in your mind you see the tree I have half the image lined up with that tree and I'm gonna walk over to where the image ends in you know just the way that it's viewed so I'm gonna walk directly to where it ends so remember starting at the tree the edge of that tree and this image ends right here so if you look at that that's a good I don't know, it looks like it's almost what maybe three feet it's so from a distance of as you, you see where I'm at here looking all the way over here from the edge of that tree it's gonna go all the way over here to this third rung and that's how wide the image looks at a at a distance now obviously the image gets smaller as you if something is closer to your face the image looks smaller so that's where it's not actually uh, ridiculous to think about using this as like almost like very similar to like if you had a smartphone and you um, hooked up a Bluetooth keyboard to it and, and a mouse and you're like doing like desktop type things you can actually do that with this device um, and as I hold my let me get my phone so this is my phone right and looking at it so yeah the phone goes about to that same section so it's about the same as you know as that about the same width that's what I'm looking at that's what I see now as I pull it closer to the to the uh, actual glasses it only goes to here so you would be going from let me pull it over here to the edge this is how far over that's how small the picture is when it's close right here but as I move it back the image expands and this right here this is as far as it goes over right here that's how big it looks it doesn't get any bigger than that for the most part based upon just using this this phone as a um, as a backdrop actually no actually it does it, it does get big so right now it is edge to edge 
left to right the same size and then when I turn the phone this way it is almost edge to edge so basically it's uh, a square this this wide at this length at the length of my arms it's almost this it's this wide and this tall square so um, that's how big the image appears so it, it does look bigger the further away um, you look so if there's nothing you know close to you you know you actually get an actual bigger image